like, I don't know if you remember that feeling of getting a fresh haircut or a fresh hairdo and then being super excited to go back to school and to show it off to your friends. Well, that's exactly what dozens and dozens of children are going to be able to do after today. You can see that I'm sitting in one of the salon chairs, but if you take a look, there are several others inside of here. Every single one of them was filled earlier today, and the free haircuts was just one of the services provided to families at this event. Are you excited for school to okay. Yeah. Dozens and dozens of families. So your favorite color is blue? Getting ready for the new school year. Binders, pencils, filler paper, uh, even scientific calculators were given, pencils, erasers, everything you need to start the school year right. What do you like most about school? Three, five. And all at no cost. It's the second year Mix Foundation in partnership with Mix Institute of Cosmetology and Barber hosts a free back to school giveaway. And my first way is a flamingo and a butterfly. I can make the move. So we have about 15 organizations here with food vendors, local resources for our community. And this year, a little more was given. I was like, okay, we're doing backpacks. Why don't we combine that with haircuts? Because if you look good, you have more confidence. This is my fifth one since 10, so in two hours. <laughs> a full glam experience, all for free. So he has never had a haircut ever, and um, he is totally excited. You know, it's his first year of kindergarten because it helps like families like myself where as compared to taking five kids to get a haircut, it's super pricey. And while it was a day about giving back. My heart is so full right now to see how many people are here. You know, they came early, they brought their family, they told everybody they knew. For the staff of the salon, it was also a day of remembrance for Angelica Bravo. Angelica called this place home. Bravo had just recently become an instructor at the beauty school. What we did um, to commemorate her memory on each one of the backpacks, we have little angel wings that we put on the on the backpacks uh, to, to dedicate that to her. Um, everyone called her Miss Angel. So knowingly and unknowingly, they're walking around with a little piece of her. And Angelica Bravo was laid to rest today by her family. So the staff here tells me they wanted to honor her memory. They also tell me that they plan to do this event again next year with hopefully even more resources for the community. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Kimberly Cruz, Fox 40 News.